How's it going everyone? Welcome to another day in this cave here on the Minecraft survival island. Why are we in this cave, maybe you're wondering? Well, that's because the other day, while I was out digging for diamonds and resources, I stumbled upon this bad boy. We have a skeleton spawner here, and in today's episode, I we're going to turn it into a little XP farm, mob farm kind of thing. So that is the plan, but I don't really want to just subject you guys to me digging this whole thing out. So what I might do is I'm going to pass you off to main let's play world me and he's going to do something that I haven't done in quite some time and probably should have, especially when we've got a bunch of new people watching and commenting. So without further ado, while I get going on preparing this area for the build, take it away, main survival world of me. That's right, survival island me. Hello, we are here outside a building that we haven't been to in a while. Uh, for those of you who are new, this is the Hall of Viewer Appreciation, which was a thing that I had started doing back in my original beat the game let's play which is where we are now that's the world we're in and it's been way too long since uh we've added any names in here as you can see it's a bit barren and uh, so we're going to change that right now uh recently mostly on the uh, survival island playthrough had a lot of a uh, lot of good engagement really appreciate you guys and some of those are as follows. We got Lana Kratos. Welcome to the wall. Sorry for any butchering of pronunciation here, maybe. We got Mercury. He's been helping me out a lot in the comments. A lot of useful little tips that I don't know about. Got AKA Scobble. I'm sorry when I take a couple of days off for work I promise I don't mean to I miss it more than you do posting these videos and last but not least we got Zed I'm guessing it's meant to be Sammy with a Q but Zed Sammy welcome to the wall thank you guys all so much for your interaction your feedback your comments all that stuff I really appreciate it if you want to get on the wall in your, here in the hall, we've got plenty of room, so feel free. Uh, all you got to do is just engage with the video down below. Leave a comment telling me what you like, what you don't like. Tell me a funny joke, tell me a funny story. Uh, whatever you want to do. I just like seeing you guys commenting down below. Makes me feel good. Anyway, welcome back to the hall of your appreciation, I guess. Been too long. Back to you, uh, Survival Island me. Huh? What are you doing back here? I, um, I'm not done yet. I'm like only halfway through clearing this all out. Go back to the main, to main Let's Play world. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm finished here. Tell, tell that big taste of Danish that I'm not finished. Get out of here. Oh shit. Uh, um, I, I guess he's not done. Anyway, uh, what, what should we do? What should we do? Um, if you are new, I guess we can do a little tour of this world. Uh, let's go up to the top of here, actually, so you can get a nice view of the area. Up, 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 uh, here we go, hit the elevator. Whee! Ah, so this is it. This is where it all began. This is the big tasty Danish village. Uh, that there. Let me get the uh, the old spyglass out. That was the first house we ever built on this world. Well, technically the first house was a hole, like a little cave under the fountain here. But the first actual building we built was this. We've come a long way, as you can see. Uh, after that, we got the farm here. We got some crops growing in there, some potatoes and some wheat. We then did the blacksmith down here. 
there's a dog house there. Dexter lives in there. Got a bakery going on here. A Zen garden over there in the distance. Uh, got this farm here. Lots of animals hanging out. The Laxon. Um, oh, down here we have a couple of friends we should go and meet. Haven't checked on them in a while. Um, got the greenhouse there. That was a subscriber build I think I did for my girlfriend. Because uh, she was my first subscriber, so I thought, you know what, build her something special. We've got the town square. The hall of viewer appreciation over there. The upgraded house, you know, when we needed a bit of an upgrade. This was it. And the archery training grounds here. That was before we went to fight the ender dragon. Had to get my skills in order. That's where we practiced that. And then over here was just some buildings to kind of fill out the empty space, make it feel more like an actual village. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the compound village thingy. Uh, let's quickly go say hi to some boys we haven't checked in on in quite some time. If you've been around for a while, you will remember these. But if you're new, this will be your first time. Meeting Simon and Waggus. This is their home, and we also have a skeleton horse down here. Memorial to Pink Sheep. I found a pink sheep out in the wild, tried to take him back. We got so close, and then a creeper fell on him and blew him up. He is missed every day. But yeah, these are the boys Simon and Waggus. This is Simon, this is Waggus. Simon was the very first friend I made on this world. He would not stay out of my house when I built it. He came in, he kept me company through some dark days, some rainy nights. And then Waggus here was just a friend. He, he seemed lonely, so we got him a friend here. So yeah, this is their little home. A nice ocean front view. And that's, oh, you stay in there, Simon. Don't you try and escape. Oh, and then, yeah, there's the, the wizard tower in the distance where I do all my enchantings and potionings and stuff. So, yeah, that's basically this world for those of you who are new. Um, and the, the live subscriber count over there in the distance. We are still trying to hit 300 by the uh, November 2nd. We're getting close-ish. I think I think we can do it. I have faith. But anyway, that's enough from me. I think the sun is going down. Let's go check back in with Survival Island me and see how he's doing with that skeleton farm. Okay, now I'm done. Now you can be welcomed back. Alright, hello. Hope you enjoyed that little tour that main Let's Play me gave. Uh, I've just finished clearing out the area here. The 9x9 nine nine cube around the spawner. And what we're going to do is... Uh, where did it go? Here it is. First I'm going to make a little infinite water source. Just in case I need one, never know. We'll go here. Bang, bang, lovely stuff. Alright, now we need to quickly just... Along here, we need a place... Maybe I can get away with doing this? Yes, awesome. I guess we didn't need that infinite water source, but that's okay. So we want to build this little thing here, along this wall, water flowing down here. Then we need to dig out this whole area here. Um, you know what, we'll have to get rid of these as well while we're here. There we go. Um, yeah. Right, 
Lovely. So get rid of these blocks here. Then it's just a matter of one more water source here. Push it all this way. Lovely. And then we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's very dangerous. You should never dig straight down like that. I'm a trained professional. Um, and I think what we want to do here then is we don't need these buckets anymore. If we place a cheeky little not like that, we're going to have to go we're going to have to do something else, aren't we? We're going to have to go like this and then like that. There we go. Then we want to put a hopper there and a little slab here. So now, the skeletons that fall down, we can just stand here and smack them in the shins. They won't even see it coming. Cool. That is the main part of this done. Now we just need to find a way, hopefully this comes out in the cave. we were in. I really hope that this... Okay, we are maybe... Where are we? Oh, we did not go back far enough. That's what it is. Whoops. Um... Well, actually, maybe we did. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I just got to not be so get so carried away. Um, you know what we might actually do? Let's do it back here. Three more. I would prefer it to come out over there than just in the middle of the floor, you know? Um, ah. Place this down, and place that, break you. There we go. And then... One, two, three. Pretty sure that's how far it was. Yeah, one more. And then we'll see where we come out here. And hopefully we're in the right spot. Huzzah! We did it. Now we can just... I don't know why I keep saying huzzah. I think it was Mercury who pointed it out in one of the last videos where I was saying huzzah. I don't know why. It's just fun to say, you know? Alrighty, I think... Uh, we'll probably fill this in now, actually. Do not need you anymore. So we go down here. Should be perfect access point. Lovely. We can always expand this area as we need to. Then we'll just come up here. Just like so. Now, the final step is we'll have to bridge out here quickly break all these torches, put a slab on top there so they can't spawn. Come on, let me hit you off. There we go. Oh, and they're already... Ow, ow, ow. That was very quick. They spawned immediately. But hey, on the bright side, at least we know that it works. So now, if we run down here... Oh, they're not happy though, they're fighting each other. We should be able to just smack them like this. Not bad. But we are going to do one little thing differently, I think. Because 
I'll block it off real quick. This is going to be not very efficient. They're going to take too many hits to deal with. So, oh, what the heck? Hell yeah. Hello, diamonds. I'm not going to say no to some more of you. What are the chances? Probably pretty high, actually. But still, we take that. We're going to break this down. Take you, take you, take you, um, we'll get rid of that real quick, and that. So what we might do actually is, if we go to, whoops, if we go to here instead, hopper on top, and then if we put a campfire here, where should that leave us? If we... So if we put this here... Okay, that should work. So we'll break this block. So now the fire will help us with the skeletons. Wow. This is really loud. One second. Um, that. There we go. We should only have to hit them once and then the fire mm, is it not dropping any XP? Oh it is, okay. Okay, we're getting something. There we go. Now we're cooking. Look at that lovely XP. So now, once we get enough leather and stuff to make a proper bookcase, and we'll be able to enchant hella stuff with all this XP that we've got going on here. And we might even be able to get, like I thought, some enchanted bows out of this. Very cool. Plus, this is also a good way to get arrows, because without a chicken, there's no real way of crafting arrows. So this is our best bet at getting enough to eventually take on the Ender Dragon and get off this godforsaken rock, which is actually treating us very well. I didn't mean that Island, you're doing very good. Okay, well. That is a quite successful video, I think. We got some XP going. This is doing really good. Okay, well, I'm gonna run up here real quick. Get out of the spawn range. And then we'll do our outro so we're not wasting skeletons in the background. Okay, that, I think, will do it for me for today. As always, you know the spiel by now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you taking taking some time out of your busy day to spend some time here watching me play this silly little game. If you want to see more and you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. Help us hit that 300 subs by the end of the end by the beginning of November. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode.